Are you looking for a new business venture? How about live selling? Live selling, also referred to as live shopping, is the practice of retailers showcasing their products through live streams, usually via social media, allowing customers to buy products in real time. By 2024, the e-commerce revenue created from live online shopping is expected to increase threefold, reaching $35 billion. The good news is that there is a lot of room for growth in the United States for this. Currently, China is the one leading the charge. China's live stream selling market grew from $3 billion to $171 billion in only three years. Apparel and fashion account for 36% of live stream shopping events. It is the most common live commerce category by far. Second to this is followed by beauty at 8%, fresh food at 7%, consumer electronics at 5%, furnishing and home decor at 4%, and automobile less than 1%. The best platform to use is YouTube, followed by Facebook and Instagram. YouTube is the most popular live stream shopping platform among United States retailers, with 30.2% of businesses using this platform in 2021. Many of these live stream sellers say that the opportunity to build a deeper connection with their audience gives them an advantage over competition. If you think it's a fad, think again. 80% of marketers think live stream commerce will be an important part of sharing products in the coming years. Also, companies report live commerce conversation rates are up to 10 times higher than conventional e-commerce. Live stream shopping platform Whatnot, which is popular for selling sports cards, rare toys, and other collectibles, has raised $260 million in fresh funding. Grant LaFontaine has been into collecting since he was only seven years old. When he started selling Pokemon cards on eBay in his 20s, he and his friend Logan Head got into finding and selling cool sneakers, but he felt like the online interfaces on eBay and other sites were clunky and boring and the safety features were lacking. In 2019, he left his job at Facebook to start Whatnot with his friend Head, hoping to offer collectors the chance to buy and sell baseball cards, rare toys, comic books, and other coveted items in a live interactive online setting where they could chat with each other and score new items for their collections. The economic downturn also seems to be nurturing this industry. There was a 76% increase in online shopping purchases during the pandemic. That is substantially more customers for you. One of the things that we should have learned during the pandemic is how we should have multiple sources of income. Starting a business to supplement your employment should not be a bad thing to do. Finding a new space is even better. Will you be trying this out? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And hey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on. This is Riz Flex with Noble Gold News.